गाइस थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ट्यूनिंग बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज राहुल आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग ग्रेट टुडे वेलकम टू दी एपिसोड नंबर सिक्स ऑफ दी ब्यूटीफुल बेंगलुरु सो टुडे वी आर इन दी एच ए एल एरोस्पेस म्यूजियम दिस म्यूजियम इज लोकेटेड ऑन दी ओल्ड एयरपोर्ट रोड सो दिस एच ए एल एरोस्पेस म्यूजियम वॉज फाउंड इन दूर टू एंड इट स्प्रेड अक्रॉस एन एरिया ऑफ फोर एकर्स इट हैज टू हॉल्स विच डिस्प्ले lot of hall of fame of the aviation industry so if you love aviation industry and if you love history you will definitely love this place so before you enter the hal aerospace museum uh, we will get a ticket counter the tickets are like 50 for adults 30 for child and if you have a mobile camera you have still camera dslr there are different rates like 20 30 50 70 etc once you enter there are three different sections inside the aerospace museum there are two halls The first hall is the Hall of Fame, which will show you the aviation history in different decades, right from 1910 till date. The second hall will show you all the aerospace engines, and the third is uh, the different models which are put outside for display, like the Mirror, the MiG-21, or the Canberra, etc. So I'll take you through uh, the all the three sections and show you the sections in detail. Stay tuned, keep watching. where you will find the hall of fame decade wise right from 1910 to till date and you'll also find different events and the photographs of different ministers uh, which depict the important events that happened with respect to hal so just came out of hall number 1 now we are heading towards hall number 2 where you will have different aero engines so let's go and explore So this is Pushpak designed and developed by HAL to meet flying club requirements. This has two sided seats and a high wing cabin monoplane. First flight was September 1958. Pushpak exit seat so whenever a pilot exits from his cockpit he comes down with his parachute and that's his exit seat This is Basant, designed and developed by HAL, single seat aircraft, put for ag agricultural use uh, and uh, application of pesticides, fertilizers, etc. The first flight was in March 1972. Basant. Yes, 
This one here was used in the Dornier transport aircraft. This is known as the Garrett. This one here is a turbojet HJE 2500. This one is a dark mark propeller turbine engine. Uh, it was fitted on the Avro 748 series, the Type 2 transport. This one is the Auto C. And this is, the, this is a helicopter engine which is fitted in the Ketak and the Cheetah kind of helicopter. So this is a multi-run aircraft used by the Indian Air Force as a bomber, trainer and high altitude photographic aircraft. So this was, uh, the first flight was 13 to 1949. So this is a Kanga. This is a meteorological radar, an X-band radar used to detect weather around an aerodrome for briefing pilots flying into a way from an aerodrome. So depending on the density of the weather, a color code is displayed on the screen. The radar can also measure the height of the cloud base and the quantum of the cloud. Whenever the thunderstorm occurs, this radar helps to predict the development and cessation of the thunderstorm which will greatly help the pilots. Passenger aircraft, pest control, light communication, executive and ambulance duties. The first flight was in the year 1950. It has a Gypsy Queen series 70 engine. PSLV. Uh, this is the uppermost stage of polar satellite launch vehicle. It's made of two halves. The main purpose of this heat shield is to house the satellite which is to be launched into the space orbit. It provides an aerodynamic shape to the launch vehicle. This is the air traffic control radar and antenna. This radar stands for Radar stands for radio detection and ranging. It provides positional information of aircraft, that is range and angle with respect to radar. This is a Maru 24 trainer. 
to design by HL under the leadership of Robert Scott Tank. And it's a twin seat and twin engine trainer. Tandem to be duplicate for you. First like was in June 1961. The period of production of MiG-21, 1996. This is the MiG-21. This is the engine of MiG-21. This is the IJT Hindustan Jet Trainer which was developed by HAL for training purpose. It has a conventional jet trainer design with a low swept wing. Project began in 1999. This is the light combat aircraft designed and developed by Aeronautical Development Agency with the active participation of HAL. Single seat, single engine. With that said, we have come to an end of uh, this HAL Aerospace Museum vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed every minute. If you are an aviation or a history lover, definitely do come to this place and enjoy. As I said earlier, there are three different sections, Hall 1, Hall 2 and the different models which you can see here. So Hall 1 is the Hall of Fame which will give you a glimpse of the aviation history decade-wise right from 1910 till date. And the Hall 2 will have different aero engines and the different aircraft, the different models that you can see. There is a simulator which we have on the first floor. You can go and have a basic simulator and a motion simulator for 60 minutes and about kids so it's a it's a definitely a good experience to have so if you like my video please hit the like button if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my youtube channel Raul in wonderland i'll be back next week with another exciting episode till then take care be happy and keep smiling